Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it's been a hot minute since I last filmed a makeup tutorial, a really good sit down makeup tutorial. So today I have for you guys an updated makeup kind of summery glowy look for you guys. So I'm really excited to show you guys some of the stuff that I have uh, been loving recently. I have switched up some of the stuff that I use on a regular basis. I have included some new products and honestly I can't emphasize how much I love it and how much it's kind of improved my skin and made my makeup look, all of that good stuff. So without this long intro, um, I'm going to jump right in and show you guys everything I have been loving and using and I'm going to do my makeup and hopefully it will look a lot better than what I do right now. Hopefully I look, you know when you look, do that transformation from like 0 to 100 real quick? Hopefully I look like that really soon. So stay tuned and I will, um, yeah, stay tuned and let's get into the video. <laughs> I have already applied my moisturizer on and oh my god, my skin has transformed so much recently. Alhamdulillah, my skin is a lot better. Honestly, thanks to this because I've been using this every single morning. I've got the night and day cream and I love it so much. It feels so good on the skin. It's very lightweight. It's like a water gel oil free, which is amazing because I've got lash extensions and I kind of don't want to use anything that has like oil based as much. Um, I've been using this and I love it so much. It's so good. It's so light on the skin. You pop a little bit on, a little goes a long way and it just dissolves into the, uh, your skin so quick. So I've been loving this. It's kind of one of the new products out in number seven. Um, everything I use, by the way, guys, will be linked in the description box below. So if you have any questions, any inquiries, please, please, please check the description box below because I'll link everything there for you guys. Um, so yeah, love this. If you want a new moisturizer that makes your skin look glowy, healthy, and light on the skin, would definitely recommend this. So I applied a little bit of that on. And of course, I went in my with my eye cream and I'm using the Oli Henriksen um, Eye Brightening Cream. So my bags is like none existing now and my skin feels very hydrated I need my eyes especially when I put my concealer on it just kind of dissolves in and I love it so um this is kind of my OG these two love these two so much and then just to finalize everything I went in and applied a primer and this is literally my favorite currently it's a Too Faced Hangover uh, Replenishing Face Primer this is literally beautiful it's for all skin types also got that scent of like coconut water and I absolutely love it I love products that smell good and this has made a huge difference to how my skin looks especially when you apply like a heavy foundation you know sometimes it can look really cakey and stuff this has literally made my skin look so flawless so love 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 this would highly highly recommend it I don't think I'm gonna go back to any primers now that I've tried this like I honestly have seen like a massive difference like with my foundation on so this is my OG so I've applied all of that on so my skin is feeling good feeling nice and primed and moisturized and all of that good stuff so now what I usually go and do is I go in with my eyebrows because I like to get that out of the way and the one product that I've been using so much is new chocolate brow duo um, eyebrow powder from Missy Lin and it looks like that and it's lovely it's got a dark shade and it's got a light shade and you've got like a little mirror here so that's what I've been using on my eyebrows let me just get out my brush and then we shall go in because I've got really dark eyebrows as it is, I don't go too heavy on my brows. I just kind of fill it in and just add some sort of a shape. What I do is I just kind of dip it in both shades and then I go right into the highest points. So I go to the highest points of my eyebrows and I just fill that in and create some sort of dimension and then make it look presentable. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'll go in and conceal around my eyebrows, use it in the Collection 2000 concealer in shade light and, and just kind of define my eyebrows out further and make it look on point. So 
So once I've blended that out, I'm gonna brush my brows in with the Diego Dalla Palma um, Clear Translucent um, Eyebrow Brush um, Thing Imaging, and that looks like this. And I'm just gonna brush that through just to make my eyebrows kind of stay in place all day because they can get a bit funky and out of place. So trust me, my eyebrows are pretty crazy. So just to brush them through and make them look good, that's kind of all I do to my eyebrows as such, I don't really do anything else to them because it's pretty straightforward my eyebrow routine and that is my eyebrow routine done and that's kind of everything I do for my eyebrows but now moving on to the base and um, so for the base for summer I like to go quite light on my skin I don't like to wear anything that's heavy or like thick especially when it's hot outside so what I usually do is I usually mix the all-in-one BB cream from the body shop that looks like this this is in shade 01 I believe it's the lightest if I'm not too mistaken and then I like to mix in the instant skin perfecter by Art Deco that looks like this and um, this is in shade I believe it only has one shade so yeah I like to mix the two and then make some sort of paste and then apply that on my skin it looks like a moisturizer because it's white but then when you blend it in it just kind of gives you some sort of a tint and it gives you some sort of color on my skin which I need because I can look quite pale and it just makes my skin look that little bit extra kind of put together and like glowy and stuff so I love mixing the two and so it looks like this, it looks like literally like a moisturizer. And then I'll just get my brush, kind of mix it all together and just go in and apply that on my skin. Okay, so once I've blended that in, I'm gonna get my beauty blender and just kind of tap everything in and just make it look more flawless and um, just a lot more natural. Obviously this base is just a BB cream so it's not full coverage at all You can see a bit of my blemishes especially here on my chin like the discoloration and stuff like that And I don't mind it at all especially for summer. I don't want anything heavy I want it to look look like I've got nothing on but obviously I've got something on if you know what I mean like the new makeup makeup look this would be perfect for it because it's just that ex just that little bit of extra um, Summer summit but it doesn't look like you have literally anything on and I love it Okay, so once I've blended that all in, if I feel like I've got some sort of blemishes that I want to hide or anything, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced um, Multi-Use um, Sculpting Concealer. I'm going to add a little bit underneath my eyes, not much because this is very heavy duty, just to conceal and a little bit in any of the blemishes I can see coming through. And that's literally about it. I'm going to blend that out further. Okay, so now that I've concealed underneath my eyes, you can see that it's brightened the under eye bags, which is great. And um, I'm gonna go in and apply a bit of powder. This is a very, very light powder. It just kind of, um, cause I get quite oily during the day. So I need some sort of powder just to kind of set everything in. This is very light. It doesn't make it look cakey at all. It's a Too Faced Peach Blur. So it just kind of blurs everything out like it says, and it's just really good and mattifying, but it doesn't make you look cakey if that means, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. As you can see, it's pink, so you're probably gonna freak out when you see it, you're like, oh my God, how's it pink? But it's just a very, very like translucent color. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that all over. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna go and apply a bit of the OPB Beauty translucent powder just underneath my eyes, again, just to um, conceal that area because with the Too Faced concealer, I feel like it does cake up if you don't add some sort of powder. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder just underneath my eyes. Not too much because again, I don't want it to look heavy. I want it to look quite natural and quite light. Okay, so I've literally applied a little bit of that. I'm going to leave that set in for a little bit. And I'm going to go on and move um, on to contour. Oh my god, I've been loving the Fenty Beauty contour stick. This is in shade Mocha. And honestly, it's the best shade ever. It's such a beautiful shade. So I'm going to contour a little bit because I need some sort of contour. So bear with me, I know I look a bit crazy. I'm gonna blend that all out and you guys will see a difference. I, I love contouring and I can't skip contouring no matter what makeup look I go for, whether it be natural, light, heavy duty. I love contouring and it's literally life. Okay, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reverse contouring. So I'm going to powder just underneath my contour line just to emphasize that and make that look a lot more like... Do you know what I mean? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to uh, bronzer. I'm gonna bronze my skin further because I love looking tanned, especially for like summer. I want my skin to look really nice and tanned, glowy and all of that. So I'm gonna go and move on and apply a bit of bronzer. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Clinique bronzer. Um, this is literally my new favorite. It just it makes your skin look so nice. It's like a, it's got like an olive undertone, which is perfect because I've got a lot of pink undertones in my skin so I need something just to kind of balance that out and this is a shade O2 Sun Kissed and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that all over my face and then I'm going to go in with this shade and apply a bit of that just on my eyelids just kind of in the crease just to blend that all out Okay, so for blusher, I'm gonna go in and use the NARS Orgasm Blusher and apply a little bit of that on the tops of my cheeks. And I've literally had this blusher for the longest time ever. It just never runs out and I, I swear to God, I use this every single day. You only need like the tiniest little bit because it's very pigmented and I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're nearly coming towards the end of my make go to makeup look. This is literally like why we're on a daily basis. Um, it's so straightforward, so easy, and honestly, it's just like it. I could easily do this in like ten minutes and then be out the door, but because I'm obviously explaining everything, it takes a lot longer. Anyways, last but not least, I love love like okay. I have tried a lot of highlighters in my day, and this is literally no comparison to any of the highlighters I've used. This is OPV um, Glamorous Highlighter and when I pop this on, you guys will literally see a difference, I kid you not. It's so blinding, I've literally converted everyone. All my friends and family have literally bought, gone out and bought one because it's so beautiful. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. So it looks like this and it's got a little compact mirror and I apply a little bit and then Can you guys see what I mean? Like, it is blinding. Just look at that, what the hell? I still get shocked, I'm like, how are you like so pigmented? I don't understand. Okay guys, so for my lips, I'm gonna outline my lips and kind of shade it all in with a MAC strip down. And this shade is literally gorgeous. I do outline my lips because I've got really tiny lips. So just letting you guys know beforehand. And then I'm going to go in with my new favorite Fenty Beauty Gloss. And this is in shade Gloss Balm. It is beautiful. It makes your lips look big. And it just it's literally the perfect gloss I've ever come across, literally. Okay, so can we just look at the gloss? It is beautiful. I love this gloss so much. I'm so glad I've come across it. Um, so yeah, once I'm done, I'm gonna go and spritz on my face. I'm gonna be using the Diego Dalla Palma Aqua uh, Mist. It's four in one. It's so good and hydrating for your skin, and it smells beautiful. And honestly, like when my skin is like getting a bit oily. I literally spritz this. Look how much I've used already. And I literally got it recently. I literally spritz my skin every so often with this and my skin is really nice and matte. So I'm gonna spritz a little bit all over. Okay, so that is it. That is my go-to makeup look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. I'll leave everything I mentioned in the description box below. So if you wanted to pick up anything, everything will be down below. So make sure you check that out. And honestly, I love this makeup look because it's so easy, so straightforward. I do this in 10 minutes and I'm just literally out the door. It's amazing. And my skin is not oily 
or like it doesn't have cakey or anything like that so I love this this is like literally my go-to right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did again don't forget to smash that thumbs up and make sure you press the notification and down below so you can stay tuned to um, my uploads and be like alerted when I upload and all of that good stuff so that is it I hope you guys have an amazing day and I shall see you guys in my next one